All right. Online sessions. Uh, it's number seven. Lucky number seven. Okay. Yeah, I've been playing seven times. I was surprised mm. uh, when I was putting up the last one. Um, yeah. It's been a while since the... <laughs> since the last, last. The first one we ever played online sessions was uh, Halo 5 as well. Really? Okay. Coming yeah, back. it's crazy. Yeah, I know. And then we hit up uh, Fortnite. And... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of things have changed since then. There was Apex out. Yeah, true. Uh, a bunch of different... Things. Yeah, Apex. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you're listening to this uh, via iTunes, that means the episode was so good that I had to put it on iTunes. But... Um, yeah, like the last one I put up, but I, didn't, I don't know. The, all the other ones were just like gameplay, so it's kind of like. Just, I mean, we talked about stuff, but like nothing like substantial enough to put as in a podcast, mm-hmm. I would say. We're just bore, bore listeners. So I was doing playing this live. Can, like, can you boost that? Streaming it yesterday? Yeah. yeah. I haven't been. It hasn't been giving me the other maps. Oh, really? Yeah. Just like one, one primary Like this map. map. Oh, turn that back down. This That's map, why. and then... Or, or move it towards, like, voice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool. So this map, and then there's another one that we would play. I don't even know the names of the maps, actually. It, it only played two, or what? I, th- th- mm, I think it was switching between the two, yeah. Honestly, there's a bit more, but I don't know why. This is probably the... Oh, shoot. This is probably, like, um, the thing I loved about online games. Like, this, I feel like I could play online. You know when we were playing, like, all the other ones? We were playing, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Boom. Ooh. Goodbye. Oh, no. Oh, what? You were low. Oh, too bad, too bad. Um, we were playing, uh, like, Apex and stuff, and I couldn't really get into it. You know, right. like, I just kept, like, I kept bringing the team down, I felt. <laughs> right. Always, I wasn't a good teammate. But in this one, I feel like, you know, I'm a good teammate. But uh, there's, there's, like, a style to right. this type of game. Yeah, I mean, there's, it's, it's a different kind of game than... Um, because once you if you make a mistake in Apex that you're you're done right yeah and then you cost your team and yeah it's like, uh... yeah well yeah I mean it's a, it's a three player team against which uh, one Apex? Apex yeah yeah like you're three versus well you can have threes in this one too oh what's going on guys yeah generally this is what five on five though right like that's just but there's a chance of you to come back versus the other one wants to. True. And Once even one dude can take everyone else out. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's true. That was the cool part about this game. Oh, man. He's so far. You gotta use the, the pistol for that. More precise wow. shots. It's like everyone dropped out of the game. What's going on? Check if everyone's here. I don't know. Oh! Oh, what? Oh! <laughs> wow, I'm getting sloppy in this one. Tis test run or uh, what do you call that? You need to get warm get up. Back this is that. a warm up. This is a warm up. Yeah, we need to. Um, it's a slow game. Yeah, warm up, warm up match. Yeah, it's a, it's a warm up match. Yeah. Maybe it's because the dudes left. You know what I'm saying? Mm, well, what dudes? Maybe they did leave. You can check. Who's here? Maybe it's only like this. Oh, I think she wants down. <laughs> No, I think no. I don't know. Well, she just wants some attention. She's, she's, yeah. Yeah. It's funny, dogs. Then. Ooh. All right. True. We out here. Behind you guys. Behind you. Really? Yeah. Look at the red. <laughs> I did. Bro, 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 bro. Oh, we out here. No, I didn't see that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's... Mm. <laughs> All right, I think we just put her down. Does she want to go down? I think so. Right. You want to go down? Whoa. Who's going to pick up that sniper? Uh, good kill. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, Ooh, he, he nice. died. Oh, he killed me. Bunch of b- bombs, I guess. I kind of weakened him. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Dead. Nice. Your teammate's doing pretty good. I feel like um, I feel like one aspect of this game that really made it like 
cool was uh, being able to. Whoops. Oh, okay. I thought it fell. Oh, God. Alright, cool. Oh! Oh, what? Close. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, he killed him for me. Um, one aspect I find that's really cool in this game is like how you can use like individual uh, armors. What? You have like custom armor. Oh, you mean just the? Uh... I thought that was kind of cool, like as a as an added feature, because then it makes you like wanna unlock, and then especially those armor. That, yeah, that's like, what I was doing yesterday, actually. <laughs> just picking up armor. Uh, well, yeah, making the the hey, coins or yeah. points. That's pretty good. To yeah, to unlock stuff, yeah. Yeah, and basically the. What do they call that? Like armor sets. Yeah, I mean, there's a word for like costumes, right? I forgot. Skins. It's yeah. kind of like a skin. Or different skins. That's what you're doing. Yeah. Ooh, thought he's almost stuck you there. Ha! Huh. This guy. Oh no! Oh, boo. Um, no, did, he, did he get you? Maybe yeah, got, in, got you. From mine, from mine. Yeah, but in the air, I guess. So the yeah, the armor skins. I find that's really cool, and like how um how like you can tell somebody's skill level or how much they played by their armor. Because like if, if they have one of those like rare armors that is only. I mean, it could mean that. It could mean that. Unless... Or they just played forever. Is this, it's a rare. Like it's just the luck of the draw. True. Do you remember those people in um in those um uh back when StarCraft was cool and then they used to do damn 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 yeah homie oh no um in StarCraft and then people would like always lose that was like a big thing like right before they won they would like leave the game and then you'd have like a huge loss count that was I was trying to do that with my record before like I created Wait, a in StarCraft yeah yeah. So it's like one way to like mess with somebody's head is like your your lose to win ratio would be like Oh 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 man would be like um like five hundred losses to zero wins. Okay. And then it would like it would signal to people either you're really good. You know? Okay. But it's like that was like one of the the first times that you began with Oh man. That was the first times you like began with like perceptual marketing. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. like you were like, oh, is this guy actually really good, or is he like trolling me right now? Oh man. Or he just like quits out the game before he loses. No, but that was that was a thing. Like oh. uh, sometimes like they would beat us, and then right before they we lose, um, like we're about to die, like our last bunker is there, they would just leave the game. Yeah. There was there was like a tactic people used to do to get like law huge like loss ratios. I don't know. I don't. I never played. It was, it was just a thing. Like thing. people thought it was cool. I thought it was cool. We just didn't understand. Like I don't know. They just. I don't understand how you would think that they would be good. Then. No, because it was like. Well, it was how like, can you get? It was like, are they actually good or not? Right, but like, how? If you're good, why would you have a bad loss ratio? I don't know. It was just it was just a thing. Because then you would like you would never know if the guy was good or not, or bad. You know. I guess. I mean, I guess so. I, I wasn't in that kind of thing, so I don't know. I never understood it. It was, it was just a thing. Like, or I don't understand was like, it, yeah. Or, like, that's where clans came, became really big. Right. Clanning. Oh. I never played StarCraft. Oh, really? No, yeah. You had it, but I never... I think... I try... I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember ever really... Actually, no, I never ever played it. I never oh. played... Yeah. Yeah, it was one of those things, like, either, like, it depends on I don't on know your... what I was playing at the time, but... I had never thought I'd be into first-person shooters, like this. Oh, yeah? Yeah, no. Because I was, like, all into StarCraft. Well, I yeah, I mean, I was, like, I, mean, I, was I was doing racing games. I mean, yeah, exactly, so it's, like, not to be in this, games. like... <laughs> right. Oh. Do you like the clickety-clack of the, the controller? Uh, I mean, if we're, when we're trying to record something, it's not good, but throughout the game, I don't really... Oh, I totally thought I would Don't really me. hear it. <laughs> yeah, um, you don't really hear it. No, I mean, like, uh, when we were trying to record something, 
that swear is an issue, but when it's true, they're just playing a game that doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's true. I mean, nowadays, like people want that, and in, in the PC world, at least. Yeah, they, yeah. Like when we they went want to the, the um, clicky. We went to uh, what's that keys. computer place? Yeah, um, Canada computers. Oh no! Oh, we said we ducked that. That was pretty good. Um, yeah, Canada computers, and then they wanted. Uh, uh, I I like the silent ones. Yeah. Oh, we still. I mean, it depends on uh, depends on um, what you want, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So, if. I think there's like benefits and stuff. Like people want to know when you're clicking in and make sure you're it's actually like. I guess that's just so weird to me. It's like, why would you want the loud clicking? I think there there are other. There's like benefits to it. Yeah, it's like some of them are like shorter key clicks. Oh, okay. Like you don't have to press down too hard to already make it go down. Like click it. Oh, if the... so, like, like yeah. So oh, that, that helps in like. Oh, whereas like if it's like a silent one. Mm-hmm. Oh, you gotta push harder? Yep. Alright, well, one second, one second. Let's open this up. Hey, I don't need this either. 200. What are we at? 48. We need to get this a bit higher. Do we have any mission victory? Let's try this. Wait, what did we get? Eight kills, twelve deaths, six assists. Assists. Yeah. You got one headshot. Zero perfect kills last game. Terrible. Kill death ratio minus two. Why'd you choose the pig? That was by accident. Oh, it's pretty funny. <laughs> I, I got that yesterday and I was just trying to like, I don't know, go back or something and I clicked the select button. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I got to go and figure out how to change it. It looks pretty sick though. Okay. Sure. I'll keep it, I guess. I chose um, mission victory what? to get maximum points, oh, okay. XP and stuff. So they had this map. There's like three maps it was going between. You just kept getting this one? Yeah, these three maps, I mean. I thought there was another one. You had to fly away. Oh, I missed it. Oh. Wait. Oh shit. It's so interesting how like um, in the world of like video games and stuff you can have like like notoriety without being seen. What do you mean? Like um what? like if if you were like um a person you know that like stereotypical thing where it's like oh you're a parent person in your parents' basement and you're like like you're um like you're just a gamer mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying and then like um nice uh and it's like it's interesting that even if you are that kind of like weirdo yeah if you're like sick at this game yeah like people like you ever see the South Park episode where like they have like their online selves and then they're like real selves oh jeez and then they're like real selves and their real selves will always be like like weird yeah 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 <laughs> Right, right, right. But it, like, didn't matter because you were, like, super cool in the game. In-game. Oh, nice. I distracted him. Okay. Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, he already hit me really hard. Just a single old bullet would have killed me. So you're saying yesterday about like how um, ammunition, ammunition, her setup, yeah, is like <coughs> super nice. <coughs> Whereas that other guy is like more followers. Yeah. But, but like, does he go to the same like, like game con stuff as her? Um. No, I mean he's kind of relatively new though. 
But he's not like... He, he's, he's famous from different reasons. But so he's not really like a gamer, he's more of a personality. He is a gamer, he's pretty good at the game that he was playing that I was showing you at the time. Counter-Strike. Okay. Oh, okay. People are still playing that. So. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh. Nice. Oh. Ooh. So it's more about like having a personality on this platform? Yes, very much so. Hmm. Oh, no. Which I find kind of weird, like, who's your audience? Oh, nice kill. How do you get the audience? No, who's your audience at that point, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it's always better, mainly personality, though. Mm, true. That's where you start, and then you can... Because marketable. Ooh, nice kills. Ooh. Did I suck him? No. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> I remember that, like, a lot of times we would... Uh... There was a lot... Like, when we used to play, there was a lot of... Um... Like those punch kills or grenade kills, like mm -hmm. after you die. What do you call? It? Kill um, from, your, from the, the grave. grave. From yeah, the grave. Yeah. Oh, how did that oh, miss? Wow. You know that there's uh, teams now that travel across Canada to play this. Like you, universities have teams. Not not this specifically, but like um, esports. Esports, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. That's weird. Universities have even taken up on it. Ooh, ooh, bro. Uh, assisted. Ooh. They were doing this uh, promotion at the tattoo shop that I, that I go to. Oh, really? Yeah, they're doing like um, Super Smash Brothers. Mm -hmm. I thought that was kind of a cool promotion. It's like if you if you're like the first runner up, you get like five hundred dollars worth. If you're second runner up, you get like two hundred dollars worth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of that. That's um, pretty cool. What's going on now? Oh, I think it'd be really sick to like own your own place and then you get to like call the rules you know what I'm saying right like that's why I really like I like the marketing of this Anbu uh, tattoo studio because like well one went to high school with the guy who owns it uh, I didn't know him but like Adrian knew him yeah um, but yeah it's, it's like interesting to see like now that we're getting to that age of like elderness <laughs> okay. old, you yeah. know it's like to see that person own an actual studio and then like all the things that they put up are like just cool things. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like that like game night, you know, or like. But how did they raise the money? How did they raise? No, it's, it's artist driven. Oh, you get a buy in. It's a buy in. Oh, okay, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. I but mean, I don't know if the artist gets the money. I think it's. Just, or maybe he does. I don't know. Uh, maybe it uh, generates business. No, no, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to do something like that, like one day, if I own a place. I would definitely do similar types of marketing. Where is he? He dropped. He dropped down here? Things. Alright, hold on. Salary's got me. Oh. They're making a comeback. They're making a comeback. Okay. Okay. What? Also, I've been like preemptively taking these allergy meds uh, at, at work. And I'm like, I oh, don't yeah. know if that's good for my body. Uh, but I just know it's just going to catch up by the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Really? Yeah, I don't know what it is. Like, my eyes get all teary. And I guess it gets worse by playing this game because, uh, like, you don't blink. You know what I mean? Oh, man, I remember uh, that. Like, playing deep into the night and your eyes would just, like, die. Really? You don't blink? No. What? You do? Yeah, I'm blinking like, right now. I'm staring at the game. No, I do. But the, I guess the, fre <laughs> the frequency is just like a lot lower. Right. I remember this, um, I think I brought this up before, but um, Metal Gear Solid, the, at like the oh. ending, when it's like, 
uh, Snake, you played too much. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, what? It was like three in the morning and I was like gaming and then like, and then like I shut it off because I was scared. It's <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> are you seeing me right now? And then um, the next day when I played it, I was like, oh, you're just like trolling me right now. Right. The, oh, the, it was supposed to happen at that time? Yeah, or? it was just meant to happen. No, it wasn't like a... I thought it was like a, a built-in... Yeah, but I played for like six hours. Like, it was craziness. <laughs> if not more. I was just like gaming. Like, right, right, hardcore. right. But then, um, yeah, with that, um, the creator of... The creator of that uh, series, mm -hmm. he's making that new game. The weird game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Kojima. never really played... Kojima? Uh, yeah. I never played... Uh, Gear? Yeah. Oh. So I don't know if I'm gonna like I like this weirdness. Nice. But I don't know. Is that you? Final yeah. kill? Yeah. Congrats. Perfect kill too. <laughs> I didn't really do much though. As you can see. That's all that matters. So um I yeah, I never played his games, so I, yeah. I don't know if I will like that game or not? Mm. I should, oh yeah, cool. Select one. Oh no. No, go back. Oh whoops. No, go back. 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 A. Just select something. Mission victory. <laughs> it means you gotta win. Uh, yeah, like the dead stranding, it is like weird, mm. and uh, I like the weirdness. I don't know if I like the game though. Right, right, right. Like they gave him free reign to do whatever he wanted to his game. That's why yeah, it looks so actually, like when when there was a prop, like there was, um, like he couldn't do anything after I think he was. Excommunicated. Yeah, <laughs> from uh, Konami games. Is it Konami? Oh yeah, yeah. Konami is yeah. where uh, Metal Gear Solid was from. Yeah. So uh, and he couldn't do anything after they let him go, like for a year or something. Oh wow. Yeah, there was like non-competition clause. Yeah. That's crazy. So and then um, uh, like everyone was talking about that in the gaming industry, like how like he couldn't even show up to. Like some of the awards shows or something like that. Like, wow. Yeah, and the is too real, bro. Oh my! Oh wow. <laughs> and then he tried, like, uh, went to like when he was now looking for a new place to start his work again. Yeah. Uh. Uh. What's his? Microsoft wanted some kind of pitch or something. Oh, what's going on, guys? Microsoft wanted a pitch, like a story then, pitch oh, or something. And, and pitch that game. No, no, no. Uh, he said um, he didn't have exactly an idea at the time, so he didn't pitch anything. Okay. Uh, and they're like, that's fine. No. Because you created no, all your solid. No, that's why he didn't go with them. He went with Sony, and Sony's like, yeah, we'll take you. Oh, really? Yeah. Without a pitch? Yeah. Without a pitch. They're just like, you know what you're doing. Yeah. They think that he's great. So. Well, he is great, man. No, your solid is that. Yeah, so like because Microsoft said pitch something or an idea, that he didn't do that, so. Man, so Microsoft still lost out. Mm. Uh, anyways, but like now, Death Stranding, we'll see now if the success of Death Stranding is there or not. It's very like Microsoft y to do. Uh, yeah. You know, it's very like Western culture. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Microsoft is a very Western culture kind yeah, of yeah, system. Yeah. Like, all right, what benefit will you give us? You know? Yeah, I mean. I don't know if when that was at the time. Either when Oof. oh, we had the rockets. Yeah. Uh, like I think Xbox One was out, right? So. But but like um, PlayStation, such an Eastern culture kind of thing, where it's like, oh my god. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, what <laughs> happens? You just load up and you just die. That's mm. that's my life. Um, but like, imagine if karma was real, and then you're just like reincarnating that moment forever. Oh right. Isn't that like a know. like a, one of those movies or like that? You just Death, um, a time loop thing, bruv. <laughs> we out here. We out here doing sloppy work. Uh, sloppy work today. <laughs> Yo, oh, wow. uh, J Cole was saying like, 
I was thinking about this just now. Uh, he's oh my god, bro. Why why are we all out here? What's going on, guys? You should have known they were there. That's true. Should like this is terrible. You should have right just now. tossed something terrible up team. there because they're gonna be there. Uh, J Cole was saying he's like, oh, in the future, I don't think there'll be celebrities. Okay. You know, and I was thinking about this just now. I was like, yeah, I see his point. You know. Or, oh my god, sense. bro. He's uh, pretty good. Yeah, he's pretty good. Uh, I see his point with, like he was saying, like, I don't think there'll be celebrities in the future. And I see his point because it's like, with the way this is going, how we have these, like, micro communities, it's like, will you have, like, giant superstars or will you just have, like, little niche niche heroes? You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody knows who Ammunition is. Ammunition yeah. is. But, like, the gaming community does. Those who know know. You know what I mean? And it's like, that's right. the power of the internet. But that doesn't mean celebrities will not exist. Aren't they? Uh, to, yeah, but I guess like global celebrities. Or like, or maybe, yeah, true. I think Actually, still be it, there. it will still be celebrity-ish. But like, it's almost dispelling the mystery. It's like, you're doing exactly what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Like, what's the difference with, like, literally, what's the difference between somebody who's getting paid to do this and us right now? Just they're getting paid. Sponsorship. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like... At the end of the day, the action, oh damn, bro, the action's still the same, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I feel like, like the internet's really outing that kind of stuff now. It's like anybody can be an underground rapper now, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Anybody can be an underground video game But they're player. all, I don't know, maybe, <laughs> he got Spawn. stuck, that guy got stuck. <laughs> I feel like just dabbling into business, it seems more like about investments, like who's going to support you and invest in you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like what what connection are you going to have? Like like for example, like like not saying anything bad about the Oh, bro. Not oh, bro. <laughs> not saying anything bad about the Kardashians, but like like it's about the connections, you know, mm -hmm. like watching that OJ show. And then it's like, Oh, like your dad was one of the lawyers on OJ Simpson. And then like listening to, um, Nick Cannon's, uh, interview on Vlad, Vlad TV. And he was saying like, Oh, she was like Paris Hilton's like closet organizer. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Then she'd always say like, Oh, I'm going to have a reality TV show one day. And like, mm -hmm. blah, blah, you know what I mean? Right. So it's like, it's more about like the world of like stardom and fame seems to be like a world of like connections and clout. Uh, for uh, some big yeah. deals and stuff. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of how it works. Even with the it's even almost with... like you got to move to Hollywood. And you know that old saying where it's like, if you want to make it be famous, you got to make it in Hollywood. Yeah, they still do that even with people on Twitch. Right? Yeah, they go to Hollywood. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. So it's like all those famous people on Twitch is that like. Are you actually famous? Like, what what is it you're doing as opposed to us? You know, like, you built a huge following, but because of what? Yeah, no, you no, know, once, like, once you, once uh, you, yeah, exactly, money. but once you, that's it. It's like, what is fame? Fame is just like your ability to network yourself outside of your circle. So it's like, if yeah. we invested heavily, could we also enter that same boat? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can. You just, basically, you're just trying to get your name out there, right? Exactly. And, and Once your name's out there... I feel like, like skill has nothing to so do with it. So the one I'm talking about, the one I was showing you yesterday, or yesterday, right? Or the other day. Yeah, he made... Oh, wait, bro. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. But, but I, I don't think skill has anything to do with it, because like simultaneously, I'm doing the same level of work I have been doing for 10 years. Yeah. I guess, like, yeah, no, you no, could I, say, I, like, I, didn't, I wasn't saying good. skill or anything like that. But, like, it, but it's more about, like, trust. You know? No, no, I wasn't saying skill though. Oh, no, no, I, I know that's what I'm saying though. It's like it doesn't come down to skill, it comes down to networking. Yeah, so like he, Bro. his name got out from some because of someone that was, uh, like, uh, oh, 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 the guy from someone that was bigger, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right, that's how he kind of built up his, um, uh, built up his viewership. Yeah, yeah. But then, also to keep your viewership. There, you need to be able to have yeah, something. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, right? yeah. I've heard that you too can, before. Because it can easily, you can easily, even with any kind of fame, you can easily die out. Like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, um, that that's what uh, that's what again, and then Nick, uh, Nick Cannon, Vlad TV thing. They're saying like, he's like, yeah, you can be put on, but then it's like it's the skill to keep, yeah, producing hits. Yeah, 
And if you can't, then that's that might be an issue. So you like die out and stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel like fame is also like a seems like a very weird, like a very weird. I think I think there's a difference between being famous and then making a living out of what you like to do. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, we have this assumption that people who are famous, they make a living out of what they like to do. But, like, a lot of people can simultaneously do what it is they like to do and make money off of it and a living. And then they wouldn't be famous. They'd just be living their idealized life. Is that what that means? What do you mean? Famous? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, yeah. Because a lot of people, like, assume, like, oh, you got all the cars and the money and, like, you get to do whatever you want. But it's like, yeah, you could also do whatever you want. But, like, like it's like, you just have to appear on the show, and then, like, we're going to give you an inordinate amount of money, you should write this song, and it's like, you're just living your creative life and being paid to do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, you have, like, a bunch of followers who are, like, buying into it. But at the same time, it's like a lot of people can also have, have the exact same thing. It's just, like, your scalability. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like... If I'm wanting for like a million dollar car, then it's like, okay, well, I got to take the steps to get there. But if it's like, I'm wanting to do what it is I like to do every day, then that's not very difficult. You just have to make X amount of money every month. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. But we don't look at fame in that way. And then I think that's why it's become like a negative thing where like a lot of people chase fame because they think it'll bring about like, like the answer to all of their problems. Like it's been marketed that way. And that's why you have like a lot of famous people like breaking down psychologically because by the time they got there they realized like they hadn't worked on themselves yeah you know they had just been given like this this gift of access Mm -hmm. excess and access and like but at the core they're still like there's still a hole that Mm -hmm. needs to be filled right you know yeah I mean I guess so but wait where is he he's up there Oh, nice kill. Did he hurt himself? Or yeah, someone taught shot? <laughs> okay. So, like, let's say, uh, let's say, like, a gamer. Let, all right, let, let's say, let's say you somehow made, like, $3,000 every month playing video games. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, would you be famous? Like, would you have that idealized self of, like, you've, you're living the dream now? You know what I'm saying? Would you consider yourself having lived the dream, or would you still be like, I need to be famous and like make it bigger? You know what I mean? Like, like why not refine your craft at that point and let the, like hone in on your followers that already like you? Why do you have to like, mm-hmm. like, why do you have to always continuously make it better? Like, let's say, like ammunition, right? Yeah, it's a great example. Ammunition. Uh, he wouldn't get that wrong. I don't know why, but like, let, let's say she's like. She's like, all right, she's already attained some level of, like, satisfaction where she can, like, play video games and get paid for it, right? Yeah. But then she's like, oh, no, I want more followers, so I'm going to start doing, like, stupid things. And, like... Yeah. You know what I mean? And then it's like... But you're you're selling out. You're not focusing on... Like, Timbaland says it, like, you're not focusing on the gifts that God gave you. I don't believe in God, but he's like, you're, you're focusing not on the gifts that God gave you. You're focusing on the stuff that comes along with it and that stuff Mm -hmm. is shallow you know so he's like just focus on the music and let that carry you right you know damn I guess so I mean because you don't really understand like this like concept of fame it just comes with a certain territory I guess some just want to do the craft, right? Like, like, all right, so it's so a good example. So it's like, if you're looking at this and you're like, oh, why are you guys posting you playing video games? But it's like, for me, I, I like playing video games with you, one. Uh, and two, like, it, it, for one, it, like, blocks out this specific amount of time where it's like, I'm going to stop doing my own work and, like, just game with you right. and chat, like we always yeah. do, right? But then at the same time, I also like to get my ideas out there. Mm-hmm. And I think, like knowledge is power so the more you can share your ideas the better right Right. but like why would somebody post something if it's like a personal like you know what i'm saying like um like if if there's no like if there's no like 
if there's nothing like you're trying to state something, mm -hmm. it's more like a a cry for loneliness. I, I don't know how to put this. Like, like, are, like, are you like if you want to be an entertainer, that's one thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's many people who like game and they want to be entertainers. Okay, yeah, that's a craft. You want to entertain, mm -hmm. right? I see this as more as like a platform for like knowledge. You know, it's sort of like Socrates and like the, it's like I'm just gonna speak and if you want to listen, that's cool. Right. You know, but then there are those other people that are like, like I'm filling a void of like nothingness. Like t you know, like today yeah, yeah. I went to the store and that was cool. And then my mom yelled at me and I was kind of like, <laughs> and it's like, then why would you do that? You know what I mean? Like what? That's not really entertaining. It's like, it's like do you not have other things to do or like friends right you know what I'm saying um yeah, I don't know uh, I mean there's different reasons for people get into different things right I guess I guess yeah I guess it's always to just satisfy some sort of like desire yeah right cause like I just spoke about like mine it's like okay a desire to like spread ideas so it's like there's a desire component mm -hmm. to that or a desire to entertain there's a desire component to that Right. Like desire is at the heart of everything. It's just, yeah, you know what? I take that back. You do you, friend. If that makes you feel better to talk about your day, do it. <laughs> right. Because you, like, watch a lot of Twitch. Like, have you encountered what it is I'm talking about? Some people get really lucky, though. Like, oh, uh, like, what do you mean? I don't mean, like, they're trying to be famous. I mean, like, they're just, they're just, like, airing out, like, sadness. Uh, there is. There is a lot of that, though. I don't know. I, I feel like there's just, like, you always have to ask yourself, like, why are you doing something? And if the answer is, like, not concrete, then it's, like, you should really rethink why you're doing something. Mm -hmm. I feel like we live in a, like, a, an asleep state all the time. Where it's, like, you're not, like, actively looking at your... But then, uh, simultaneously, the people that are also, like, oh, I'm doing this for this reason, it's, like, you could be jaded by something, you know, like false prophets. Yeah. You know, like I want people to love me, so I'm gonna pretend like I'm a guru. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Oh uh, yeah. There are things like that too. I think it's a lot of it. I don't know. Some people are there just to entertain, or really. No, yeah, but that's the thing. It's like if you're just looking to entertain, it's like yeah, you you, you know why you're doing or something. You, or they're like really good at like their comedic sense is really good. That's yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. But there's there's also those things like it's like if you're like you can you can smell BS. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. So it's like you, you can tell when somebody's being a hypocrite. So it's like I just want to entertain, but it's like or like me. All right, I just want to spread ideas. Yeah. Right, and then it's like. Is like, do you really want to spread ideas or do you want followers? Right. Like a following, like um, not followers because like that's different. I mean, more like, or do you want like a cult? You know. Right. Because then that would be like, no, I have the answer. Give me some money. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's like I'm not. I'm just vocalizing my opinion mm -hmm. through filtered through like research. Yeah. Oh. And like provide, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like there's like a fine line. I, I just don't know, cause it's it's like there's like subtle levels to everything, right? It's like, it's like why does one, why does why do people do what they do? Everyone has their own like story, I guess. Like I heard this one person uh, was like, oh, I do this because like I feel like, well, I guess this is everyone's story, but it's like I'm doing this because of the social pressure. Right. And it's like, okay, well, there you go. Like, that's that's not actually a legitimate reason as to why you should be doing something. Mm -hmm. You know? Right. Or else you'd just be living for somebody else's social pressure forever. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's true. Depends on, you know, on the internet, too. Like, you've, you got to have to have, a, like, a genuine reason. Like, you just, people will find that out and just don't really... You know what I don't get? Oh. This is like a very odd thing, but like, not odd, but it's like a very common thing. Um, a lot of, 
a lot of like spiritual teachers will come in the form of like westernization and like but be very like oh, that was a very close game uh, but be very like um Do we? Uh, you can play one more. Me? Yeah, you play one more. <laughs> okay. Or, or, yeah. Sure. Um, so, like, yeah, in the form of, like, um, it's interesting, like, they come in the form of, like, westernization. And I mean that, like, like, almost like, so, okay, okay, Gordachev, Nietzsche. Who's Gordachev? Uh, this guy, he's, like, a philosopher. Um, I'm just, I keep hearing his name in, like, specific circles. And then you have, like, Nietzsche, um, who's German. And then you have, like, Carl Jung. You yeah. have Freud. Mm-hmm. Um, all of these people are talking about, like, very, like, Eastern concepts. But none of them are, like, take part, like putting on the persona of an Eastern concept. You know what I'm saying? It's like, why do we feel the need to portray people of knowledge in spiritual matters with an Eastern filter. Do you get what I'm saying? It's like, why Why do we need, like, the dashikis and, like, the the top knots and the, the beads? Okay. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, these, these people that knew things, like Gordajev, um, Nietzsche, um, Socrates, they were all, they were just, like, they're being who they are, but they were taking, like, it's called, like, the perennial wisdom, like, the wisdom that's like have has been there always yeah you know and they're just like saying it in their filter mm-hmm. you know right and i find that like that's that's a part of the commercialization of the spiritualization mm-hmm. where it's like <laughs> let me just let me just ham it up so that you'll believe what it is i'm saying but it's like why not just speak the truth and then let your words do the talking for you like just because my beads are long doesn't mean <laughs> i know more than you you know what i mean like it's very odd. I find that very odd. Uh, yeah, somehow that happened, I guess. You know Osho? Like, the name Osho means teacher in Japanese? Yeah, it's not... Or a, student or something? Like, no, a student or teacher? It seemed like a Japanese word to me. Yeah, it's, it's a Japanese word. But he's, like, Indian. Hmm? Yeah, he just so took a like, name, though. It's, like, some appropriation, bro. You know what I mean? It's, like, it's the whole bead thing all over again. Oh, but he was very like wise. He did a lot of craziness. Like if you watch the, um, if you watch the, um, what do you call that? What do we watch? Uh, Wild Wild. Yeah, if you watch Wild Wild, Wild Country. Yeah. Um, yeah, he was like that. But you know what's weird? It's like all of the good ones have like some weird craziness behind them. All the people that really get their like ideas out there, they have some weird jadedness in their past. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But like, that, that's why I like the Zen, because like the Zen's like, all the Zen teachers, you won't even know that they're Zen teachers. Mm. It'll just be through their, your like interaction with them, you'll be like, oh wow, that guy's very wise. And he'll be like, have a good day. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he, he won't be like a Bhagwan. Be like, follow me. <laughs> Bhagwan right, right, Sri right. Radnish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I feel like there's a lot of like wannabe Bhagwans out there. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? But there's only one Osho, bro. Mm. Like, he was very wise. I'd like to meet him though. That'd be cool. Like if he was alive today, I'd be like, "That's cool." Man. It's like when we went, um, uh, Graham Hancock. Like you're awesome, man. Right. But that's just because. Damn. It's yeah. Like a, this is a jinx map. <laughs> I lost all these. What were you saying? But that's what. No, but he's like a different. Like, like Graham Hancock is just is like. Oh, Graham Hancock? Yeah, 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 he's just like a scholar. Yeah. But see, that that's what all these people are, like these niches, these like um, Gorgias, you know, they're all just scholars. They didn't they didn't classify themselves as like spiritual guides or anything. Mm-hmm. They're just like, no, I'm like a philosopher. That The philosopher is the Western name for like a yogi. You know what right. I'm saying? But we like, we glorify this thing called a yogi and then we teach it like yoga teacher training. So you could become like a yogi too. You know what I mean? It's like so weird. Mm-hmm. But like, why not just read a book and think about life and you become a philosopher too? Like all these yogis that, all these so-called yogis, they were just people that thought about life, you know, mm-hmm. and stretched, allegedly. <laughs> but like, we don't really know that. You know what, you know what yogis also did? They also had no jobs. 
Yeah. You know what yogis also did? They also did a lot of drugs. Exactly. So it's like, it's weird when people like pick and choose, you know? Like, I want to be this, but not this. Mm -hmm. It's like, or just be neither of that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Huh? Right. Oh, you killed him. Nice. How did I do that? I think he killed himself. Oh. But you were like the last hit. Okay, I see. But I do identify as like martial artist and yogi. Simply because of like the box, you know? Like Because of the what? The box. Like people's minds need boxes. Uh huh. You know? So I like, I identify with it. But I've been like loosening that up. What do you mean? Like I, I haven't really been, like especially like joining like the working world after being like a vagabond yogi martial artist. <laughs> you know, it's sort of like I'm just like yeah, th these are qualities that nobody cares about. Yeah. You know, can you sell the product? Yes, yes, I can. Excellent. That's what we need. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's what we need in this world. You know, like it's so funny. Maybe that's probably why I wasn't interested in all that stuff. But that's but that's but that's why I like the Zen though, because the Zen practitioner understands this duality. Yeah. You know, that's what Taoism is. That's why I, like, if you really want to know, like, my philosophy is more like a Taoist now, mm -hmm. and like, even that's like a box, you know. But right. like, a Taoist is just like somebody who understands the duality of life. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah, sometimes you gotta sell products, sometimes you don't. Right. But it's sort of like uh, what Buddha said, like, when you attain Buddha mind, it's like, it's not that you have no mind, it's that you can enact your mind whenever is necessary. Mm -hmm. It's like, I need to be thinking now, okay. But then it's like, oh, I don't need to be thinking now, okay, just enjoy this moment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the duality. It's like, right. you know, like in the yogic circles, they're all about, like, abolishing the mind because the mind's evil. Mm -hmm. But, like, in Buddhism and, like, Zen and stuff, like, Buddhism came from Zen. Uh, Buddhism came from yoga. So it's like, obviously, the evolution would be there. And then yeah. the Buddhists were like, oh, your mind's not evil. It's, it's like, that would be like getting rid of your like little finger. Would you do it? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it's like, no, it's a part of you. Just learn how it works, you know? Oh. I'm reading this uh, awesome Osho book right now called Awareness. And um, they're saying, he said like, um, when you're ready to die, your entire body is ready, except for your mind. When it's time to die, your entire body is ready, except for your mind. Right. And it's like, yeah, it's the one last thing that doesn't want to go, because it knows that without the body, there'd be no mind. Exactly. Because the body is the mind, you yeah. know what I mean? But it doesn't want to tell you this, so it's like... Yeah. yeah. But to realize, like, you are... You are beyond body and mind. Because mm -hmm. you really think about it, like, we're just, like, molecules. We're not even really, like, a thing. You know? Ooh, too bad. Oh. It's yeah. it's <laughs> ah, how ironic. Death. That was close one, though. Yeah. It was whoever got the shot out first. Oops. Isn't that a mind blow if you think about it? It's like, these are all just like colors and like actions that are happening on the screen, but we're identifying as like jump, shoot, shoot this bad guy, headshot, you know what I mean? Double <laughs> kill. Right. But it's like, these are just these like symbols that are coming up. Like if you didn't speak this language or you had no idea what this was, you just see like lights and sounds. Yeah. You know? yeah. It's only like our like cultural context that puts things into like perspective. Yeah, they wouldn't understand this at all. Yeah, can... like, if, exactly. So if you brought this to, like, the year 1000, they'd be like, what is this thing? Mm-hmm. You know? But that's <laughs> sort of like our lives, you know? It's like right. we're just making meaning out of chaos. That's all we do on a daily basis. Damn it. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, you almost get hit by a car. Oh, God's looking out for me. Right, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's just chaos, bro. You're just making meaning out of chaos. Mm. Yeah, I, I never understood that line. Anyway. Oh, God's looking out for me? Yeah, it's like... It's but like, he is, bro. He loves me. But he just didn't get it. I went to Catholic school. I know God loves me. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> Unless until you sin? I don't know. How does that work? No, because they'll forgive my sins. Oh, right. So you could be a murderer and a rapist. <laughs> just be like, dear God. I was just kidding. He'd be like, ah, true. Undo. Right. And you do it again. they are like, no, God, I was, I was just kidding about that kid. Mm. I'm serious this time, though. So God's just a fool. Is that is that what we're, we've come to realize? Maybe. God is no better than a child. Jeez. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean. This guy, I didn't say mentality that. is like easily, he's a gullible. Right. You know, hey man, I can say it. I, I was brought up Catholic. I'm indoctrinated, yeah, so yeah. it's fine. Yeah. It's like making Filipino jokes. It's like I'm Filipino though, so you can say it. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Ooh, can you do it? Ooh. Ooh. That. That is not a clip I will be cutting and uh, <laughs> 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 only that's like a bonus thing that if you really wanted to watch this and listen to it, you will have gotten that amazing How far into this? Like 40 minutes into this? I know, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, you really got to be a big fan. Oh my God, like, dude, you know the word Stan has been going on for a long time? Charlemagne used it in an interview in like 2016. He's like, oh, that's what I call a Stan, bro. And I was like, what? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't... Like, yeah, that's like a thing. Like people have been calling people Stans for a while. Yeah, I, I guess some yeah. Then it just becomes Part really of the, like, popular lexicon. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Somehow, it sticks. Someone yeah, interesting. Does that? I guess. I don't know. It is interesting that I don't know when it started though. But uh, Eminem gets no credit for that though. Yeah, I know, right? Eh? Cold, cold. Dido, Dido does. Um, you know they say that thing about introverts, how it's like. Everything that they do, they'll always steer the conversation towards something that they find entertaining. Yeah. I was like, oh, we're gaming. And like that whole, like the first half, I was thinking about a real, like reflecting on just now, the first half of this, like, was so boring. But then the second half, I'm like, oh, like we talked about some cool stuff. Yeah, I mean, conversation has to go there naturally, right? Just True. Can't kind of force it. Well, I mean, that's what we do with our weekly roundups because we like, or like our Socratic dialogue because we have a topic. But like this one, we're just like chilling. Oh, Damn it. you lost. It's close. All right. Well, that was a good one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think uh, that's where we'll end it. Let's get match. So that's it. Yeah. Um, big fan of Halo. I did really good though. Yeah, you did. You got 17, bro. Damn. Your team sucked. Oh, two, two people dropped out. That's why. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Till next time. Peace. Stay woke. Bye. We're the woke. <laughs>